towards your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to go. you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay, okay On this episode of Across All Borders Going East, it's all about Watamu Beachfront and more. As part of my trip to Kenya, I visited Watamu. It's a small coastal town in Kenya, not of Mombasa. It's known for the Watamu Marine National Park and Reserve, which has three bays, Watamu, Blue Lagoon and Turtle Bay. We're going to see a part of the Blue Lagoon and the Watamu Bay on this video. One other thing you will notice if you're visiting Watamu are the sandy white beaches and the coral gardens that define this area. You will also be lucky enough to see some seabirds as well as some green hawksbill turtles. If you are considering visiting Watamu, there are a couple of things you can do, some of which I covered myself. Of course, exploring the beachfront, visiting Gedi Runes in Malindi with the snake park, visiting the butterfly sanctuary, having a sunset cruise from Mida Creek and enjoying lovely crabs while you're there, visiting Hell's Kitchen, Marafa, and a couple of other things you can do. So I think there's enough to do for three or four days if you're visiting Watamu. Join me on this episode as I show you A, my accommodation, Toto Bay Resort. I had uh, a breakfast and dinner package, which was, it was okay. It was the resort in itself is okay, the food was not amazing. We will look at my experience walking about town and the people I met on the coastal front when I explored a bit around Watamu. So this is Watamu and um, and I'm in Turtle Bay. I just checked in. This is my room. I have to say it's a bit of a say step down from from Diani Beach and where we stayed. Clearly, um, I see the pool from my balcony. So my plan today is just to go out uh, poolside beach, a little bit of a relax, and then uh, maybe find out what the deal is with the sunset um dow uh the thing about this place to be honest is there's so much less traffic it could also be because this is a sunday so people have left and um they usually would come in on the weekend because it was super busy in diani and um anyway let's see what this will end up being like Oh my god, look at the sky! 
Look at this guy. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm going to see them. There are loads of crabs and they're getting washed up. Oh, there's one right in front of us. Another one. I'm going to go to Malindi and uh, explore and then maybe I will do the sunset but I feel like I didn't use my... Excuse me? Oh. I think you do the machines or you have to wait for the sun to uh, the, the cappuccino The what? Sorry? The cappuccino Uh-huh Yeah What happened to it? Somebody's refilling the, the machine Refilling the machine? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fine Can I get some orange juice in the orange meantime? Dish. Yeah oh. Asante Welcome Okay, so definitely they need new knives. These knives don't work on anything. Not dinner, not breakfast. Um, but um, we will try. And uh, oh, and um, yeah, let's see what the pancake is. It's definitely not the same quality. Oh, I feel like chewing gum. So guys, I actually saw this figure and I was like, what in the world is that? It looks interesting. But if you look closely, you might see that it's actually the trunk of a tree and the hair is the root from the trunk of the tree. Say hi to the coconut head families. Yes, you heard me right. These are beautiful sculptural walks carved out of a coconut tree trunk and it's upside down. So what you're seeing that makes the hair similar to mine is actually the roots of the coconut tree. And I'm gonna show you one close up and then we're gonna to talk to the lovely gentleman who makes them. Um, so this is our coconut sculpture close up. Hey, hi, please tell us your name. My name is Steven Chinyang. Okay, Steven, are you from Watamu? Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the coconut tree sculpture? The uh, tree sculpture is uh, upside down. Upside down you know? So guys, if you are in Watamu and you're looking for a gift to take with you, then yes, definitely walk into the shop. Um, the coconut head attracted me, the coconut head sculpture. But if you're saying, oh, that's a little too big for me, no worries. There are items here much smaller, more interesting as well, and different as the coconut head that you can buy and actually use at home. Like, I like this piece here. I don't know if it's calabash. No, it's quite heavy. So I might think it's ceramics. So quite a number of it's also ceramics ceramics but the that up there is definitely calabash no that's also calabash so those are calabash pieces and if you don't know what a calabash is it's a gourd plant that are used different ways in different African countries here I've seen in Kenya that they love to use it as lampshades I haven't seen that before I don't think we do that in Nigeria but this is an absolutely beautiful piece that you can use in your home these bags are made from cement bags and leather. So it's kind of like recycling. So if you're looking to go green, this might be the article you want to get because it's made from cement bag and some leather. Okay, nice. I'm actually crazy about the calabashes because we have that as well in Nigeria, but we do it differently. So this is cool, so guys. This is also the, uh, 
from coconut. Ah, this is from coconut? Yeah. Nice, guys, look at that. That is a coconut fish. So I'm talking about real creativity here, like kind of like recycling things. So if you're looking for unique gifts that you do want to check here, because some items are actually quite peculiar, I haven't seen them anywhere else, like this very ugly statue here. <laughs> Who is this lady? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna walk back. So I came to run some errands, and now I'm going to find the beach. And I think I will do the sunset thing today, so I'll go back to the hotel and um, try and get that in. are made from the coconut tree we saw the statue and now we're seeing like a fishing bag made out of coconut leaves this is amazing and this is our local fisherman combo, combo. Captain, combo. <laughs> captain combo captain combo what kind of fish do you catch in this water squid squid do you have any squids in your bag yeah you have some squids in your bag? Yeah. Can we see? <laughs> she has some squids inside. Sorry, sorry. I know it's heavy. I know it's heavy. Let's look at some squids right. Oh my god, I see eye. I see something's eye. See? Oh, oh wow. Oh my word, look at that. This is a coral fish. Okay. So we've got squid over here. At the, oh the lord look at that like guys for real this is fresh, fresh from the ocean, the ocean from captain combo yeah. the package is 600 per kg, 600 per kg so it depends on how much how much it's weighing yeah. wow asante sana captain combo this is baker he's going to be joining us tomorrow baker is from watamu he actually takes people on safari, takes people to do different activities from Watamu. If he guides you for a day, it's about 1,500. Um, that's excluding the transport costs. So we are in Watamu Beach right now. And tomorrow we have a full program scheduled. We're starting with Gede Roots, and then we go to Hell's Kitchen. And then from Hell's Kitchen, we go to Malindi. And I need to take the boat immediately.
One of the major things I tried to do was to catch sunset and sunrise on the beachfront. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing that experience and you feel inspired to visit Watamu. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Diesel81.